All right, this is a 2019 Nissan Frontier SV 4x4. See, uh, this video is about installing this EcoTrick aluminum luggage rack. So, the beginning of the video will have kind of the layout of how it goes together. The instructions on this are pretty terrible. Uh, they only really have just the picture of what the end result looks like. Uh, but kind of I just want to go through the reason I'm making that video is I wanted to show everyone kind of how they attach. So I use these rivet nuts with bolts going through them. Uh, a lot of people use self-tapping screws and whatnot, but these hold a lot stronger. Um, and this one I put in the other way uh, just because it wasn't starting very good. It holds pretty much the same. I just put a nut on the other side. But um, yeah, and then I just made sure I put some paint on where I had to drill all the holes. Um, but they do come with this bracket. Let's see. Sorry. It comes with these brackets that are would be great because then you would just have to drill a hole in the top and then you'd be able to put this bracket in from the underside but they don't fit with all these crossbars where it would actually want to line up so you can see these two holes and then there's two more that are underneath this cross member here that runs all the way across um, so that's the reason I dropped the headliner, which is also kind of a pain because I didn't like the idea of drilling without knowing what I was drilling through. And I'm kind of glad I did that because if you look back here, you got your side airbag, uh, some of your side airbag equipment here. Um, and you can see how close this is to that. And if you're not paying attention, you would be tempted to run this on this line right here because that would make it very convenient. But if you did that, you would definitely run straight into that little airbag device there, which would be bad. So just, I recommend taking this down. Um, there's no videos on how to do it, but uh, I'll kind of go through and just do kind of a run through of what you actually have to take off. Um, so you can see, so this is your uh, your visor, your driver visor, so side and side on both. And then same thing, you got your passenger visor, and then up there you got a grab handle. Um, all this plastic stuff just kind of pops off, all this trim just pops off, um, and the uh, uh, kind of the the light and like sunglasses holder and stuff uh, that just pops out of the headliner it just pops into this little bracket right here but there's no tabs or anything just try to get like a nice nice screwdriver in there and try not to ruin your brand new truck so if you feel like you want to drill holes into your newer vehicle uh, I recommend using sealant and stainless steel hardware that goes in there so it doesn't rust um, but I'm gonna get some plastic caps I think they sell those at the local hardware store here I'm gonna get some plastic caps to try to keep as much rain out as possible um, but it shouldn't leak because it's got a gasket here and then sealant on the bolt and washer and threads uh, the only way that it could leak is if it got if this little rain catch here filled up with water and the water just kind of soaked its way through the bolt which I'm sure eventually it probably could uh, the kit that it comes with or the the kit comes with I'm sorry uh, not any of this stuff <laughs> I had to get so you gotta have one of these you have to have a nut thread tool um, but the threads that they sent with the kit actually don't have uh, kind of standard threads so this is all the extra hardware that 
it came with so I guess I made it better than the factory did but anyway these are a, a strange thread so I mean I'm sure they're not strange it just wasn't the wasn't the thread that my uh, nut thread uh, kit came with um, so anyway you're not going to use these on this on a 2019 anyway I don't know they might fit in other models but not a 2019 uh, but yeah I do recommend taking the headliner down to do this again just so you can see everything and you can see all the where you're drilling these back ones aren't bad and up here um, there's not I kind of felt around and there's no wires uh, that I could see or feel in there so the only thing is you got those airbag devices in the back there so just be wary um, I didn't have, I would have used black spray paint, but I only had white, so never going to see it anyway. And then, yep, so just make sure you uh, just take your time with it and don't do anything too crazy. But, yeah, it worked out pretty good. I'll uh, put some measurements. There will be some other pictures of this with the install here. Um, but I'll put measurements for kind of where I put it. Um, in relation to maybe this guy and then towards the back but turned out pretty good nice and straight um, and it's it's solid so you can move the whole truck with just moving this so um, it's pretty solid probably run around and like I said put those caps on there but for the price it's not bad it's not not too bad uh, the hardest part is putting it together I would say so um, but I'll throw some instructions in to just pictures with the tools that you'll need and all that good stuff um, yep thanks